Hey guys, so this is the first video I'm filming with my new hair. It is really um, red. It's like I went for like a ready purpley tone. If you guys can't tell, I don't know if you guys can or not. Um, so yeah, that's that. And this is going to be a haul. It's because I've been shopping a lot lately. Not lately, I always shop a lot. It's a really, really big problem. But yeah. So let's just start with the hair first. So I went to Walmart to pick out a dye and I was very, very indecisive and I ended up picking the 660 from Garnier Trees. And this is the color, it's intense, light red and it was really pretty um, red but it has like a, like a burgundy color. So I really liked Also from Walmart, I got the Garnier Fertise Color Shield Color Treated um, Shampoo and Conditioner. And I got the big bottles because they were like five bucks. I got two bags of my favorite candy, which are the cherry sours because everything has to match. My candy matches my hair now, you know, just casually. And then I got the L'Oreal Color Radiance Protecting Mask. So just to protect the color. So that's what I got from Walmart. And then I got home and mom's like, um, you know, one box isn't enough. Because I have a lot of hair. It's currently in a little bun thing there. But there's a lot of it in that little bun thing. So I went to go pick up another one. And I couldn't remember if I got 460 or 660. So I picked up 460 instead. And this is an intense dark red. And I it is very similar. This one just has a little more of a brownie tone. Which wasn't bad because it gave my hair more natural. Kind of like my hair kind of base tone to it kind of. Um, so it didn't come out bad, I don't think. I did miss a couple spots, but that's user error. And of course, if I go to shoppers, I can't leave just buying one thing. So I decided, um, if you bought three Essence products, you got, a, um, an extra 500 points or an extra 1,000 points. So I decided, why not? And I'm thinking about doing a review on all the Essence products that I've tried. So I decided to try some more. The first one is a white eyeliner. This is a, um, Kajal pencil, and it's just white. I'm wearing it on my waterline right now, and I'm not going to ruin anything because I want to keep that for the review. Also, like, I also got the I Heart Stage eyeshadow base, and I heard Eleventh Gorgeous talking about this once upon a time, so I decided to try this. I'm also wearing this on my eyes. It did keep my shadow pretty well today. Then I bought this huge bronzer, and the thing about the Essence set, um... Is that they did have a place where you can swatch, like, swap, like they had little testers, but they didn't have the names on the testers, so I was debating if it's the blonde one or the brunette one. And then I decided to go with the blonde one, which was the wrong twist, because this one is more orangey. I was trying to go for the less orangey one. It smells very strongly of coconut, and just so you didn't know, this is the Sun Club Blonde um, Matte Bronzing Powder, which is great for, um, well no, this is too orangey for contouring, that's the only thing. As a very orangey tone to it um, but it's really nice for warming up the skin which I did use it for today I did find that using I'm reviewing it I'm sorry I'm not gonna review it Shh. then I went to Target and I did pick up some fuzzy socks and an umbrella but I don't know where those are I really don't know where I put those um, I think the fuzzy socks are actually in the wash but I did pick up a Sonia Kashuk tool a number 27 synthetic angle eyeliner brush and I just really was looking for a good eyeliner brush. They had the nicest powder brush there, but it was completely sold out. And I got this, it was like 10 bucks, and it was 30% off, so it was a great deal. And it looks like a really nice brush. I did, like, try to use it. Um, it's just like a plain angled brush. There's nothing really special about it. Next, I got some stuff from Airy. I have, oh, ha oh, they didn't give me the, this girl has not been retouched. Bag. Boo. Um, but I did pick up some swimsuits because I am going, um, to St. Martin soon, and I'm also going to California in the summer, so I do need a little more swimsuits, a little more, a little, um, I do need a couple more swimsuits because I have one that I wear still, so, yeah, so I picked up this top, and they were 25% off, and then I had a coupon as well, so that was great. This is their Blakely top. It's just like that. It's teal and then has like pink straps and it's like kind of like a corset back. And I really, really like this color. It's such a pretty color. Um, then I got this top, which perky triangle top. I love how some of them have names. The other ones are just like perky triangle. 
and that's just like that and then it has like it's like this indigo color and then it has this teal green and pink pattern at the bottom and then I got because I if I would have spent an extra thirty dollars I would have gotten an additional twenty five dollars off so we decided just to grab another one and this one is Brooke and it's just like blue kind of um as techy print to it with like white and teal and then for bottoms I got their sky high um, bottoms which are really nice because depending on how, wait, how you like they go like pretty much like all the way up to here but you can roll them down to depending on whatever like height you want so I like just going just like maybe an inch or so above my belly button and I think that looks really nice with the tops so I got this teal bottom which goes almost perfectly there is a slight color variation between these two but it's not that bad um this one's just more like a brighter like darker teal and then i got a indigo bottom to go with the other two tops i also purchased this bag here from forever 21 it is humongous it's pretty much taking up the entire frame and changing all my coloring um but yeah this is really i thought this would be really nice for traveling um, though as soon as I put my laptop in there, it gets really, really heavy. So we'll see how that works out. And then from H&M, I got two things. I got the sweater that I'm wearing right now, which is just this really, I got the size large, so it's really oversized, like really oversized, um, chunky knit sweater, which I think will look cute with a pair of shorts and kind of like, yeah. <laughs> and then I also got a pair of shorts because I live in Canada and we wear shorts every day, right? just that that has to be like my only justification for buying the amount of shorts that I own um but I really wanted a pair of black ones and these ones fit really nicely they're just a black kind of distress because there is some like whitey gray parts but this it's majority black um shorts and this is from the divided brand I went to Lush and I picked up three things I picked up Yubin Mango which is a oh it's starting to melt on me um, which is just a butter, a melt, I think, a bath, a body belt. I don't really, I gotta Google this. I've been just using, like, I think it's just, like, you rub it on your skin and, like, moisturizes it, I think. Unless, I gotta Google that. But I think that's what you're supposed to do. That was six twenty five. Then I got one of their Easter ones, and this is the Bunch of Carrots Bubble Bar. And I think this was expensive. This was almost this was thirteen dollars. But you get a bath out of each of these. And what the lady says is she just, just untie one, and kind of just like psh, like through the bath water, and it should bubble like that. So you don't have to crumble these ones. And they're so cute. And then of course I picked up the oh so classic butterball. Every time oh, I just build butterball. But every time I go to Lush, I pick up the Butterball because it's just my favorite. It really moisturizes my skin, and it's only, it's one of the cheaper, oh, now I'm going to move out. It's also one of the cheaper butter bath bombs. So, of course. You know, when I show this on camera, it's actually not seeming like a lot, but I swear, I spent like so much money. Then I went to Spore because I had to return something because my friend gave me one of the lips, uh, melted lipsticks by Too Faced and I already had that color. And then my Sephora did not have the whole range of Too Faced um, melted ones so I was kind of disappointed because the color I wanted was not there. I was going to buy a different one but then I spotted um, something from Bite and I decided I'm going to buy that instead. But first off, I'm going to start off the start my problem. But I definitely want to try this because this primer has amazing reviews. This is the Argos Mineral Primer. Um, it is just like, I got the mini because I wanted to try it before spending like 50 bucks on primer and this one was almost 20 bucks so it's not that bad but like it's a thing. Um, so yeah. But I'm excited about this and I think it's going to be really really good and it's going to hopefully prevent transfer and it's oil free and it's going to be good. So I'm really really excited for this one. And then I picked up the Bite um, Lip Duo in date and fig and the colors just looked so pretty in store i think i like fig slightly better because just a slightly more color but i've been going towards the nude so i think i would like date too and i've i complained about these before because the size is really tiny but they do last a very long time and it, but i haven't been getting the use out of my bright ones because they just seem so out of place with this weather so i'm hoping that the nudes 
will get a lot more use. So this one over here is Fig. It's more pinky. And then the brownie one is Date. They are so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then I went to pink. I picked up this bralette. And I've been looking at the Brandy Melville ones. And they look cute, but they look like they offer, like, no support. And they look, like, actually, like, like they look very for more of a flat-chested person. Um, and the nicest... I don't know how else to word that sentence. Oh, this is all tangly, though. Um, but yeah, so I picked up this one. It's their push-up cage bralette, and it just has, like, two straps at the front there, which I think look really cute under, ta like, looser tank tops. And since it's, like, opaque on the side there, and it's, like, a wider band, it will look, like, good on, like, muscle or tees, too. So that's why I like that. Is that all I bought? <sighs> that is what I bought. It doesn't seem like that much, but it feels in here and in my wallet like it was a lot. Um, so I'll see you guys all in my next video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I was going to comment, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. That's how it goes. Goodness, I'm such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> um, so yeah, see you guys later. Toodles.